Hi friends, welcome again and thank you so much for joining us here. We have a little bonus content because we had so many people ask me if Ozzy painted yesterday. We wanted to go and show you a live demonstration. So behind me, I have our zookeeper, Caitlin, over here. She's joined by one of our amazing volunteers, Melissa, over here. And they are going to be helping Ozzy to paint. So you're going to see Ozzy's going to come down. He's going to use one of our very fancy paint brushes. It's a regular paintbrush attached to a meter stick. But Ozzy's going to use that big old tongue. He wraps it up there. And he's going to go and put the paint on the canvas. Or on Melissa. And on Melissa. <laughs> Free manicures. Now, during that, you may have heard some clicking in the background. That is Caitlin there. She actually has a clicker on her wrist. It's the exact same thing you would use if you were clicker training your dog. So Ozzy has been trained by the clicker. That as soon as he hears that sound, he knows he's doing a good thing and he's going to get rewarded for it. We have a special term for it. It's called reinforcement. So he's positive reinforcement training here. He does something awesome. He's going to get something awesome in return. Today it happens to be veggies. Now for all my youngsters at home, can you imagine doing really, really well on a homework assignment? And instead of an A plus, your teacher just gives you a big bowl of broccoli. Doesn't sound that exciting. But to Ozzy, it's the best. So now you saw just how long his tongue was yesterday. It is 16 inches. And the way you know how long a giraffe's tongue is, is by its height. So Ozzy here is six years old. He's still growing a little bit. And he currently stands right around 16 feet. So if Ozzy is at 16 feet, his tongue is 16 inches. And he's gonna come and grab that paintbrush again. Again, let's look at that tongue. His tongue does not look like ours. Because it's that dark color. And that's to help with protecting it from the sun. Giraffes have to eat quite a bit. So to help protect them out in the hot African sun, as they're eating 18 hours a day. Their tongue is a dark color to help it from getting sunburned. Because I don't know about you, but a sunburn on my tongue does not sound bad at all. Now, Caitlin over here has been switching our paint colors around. We're using some really fun springtime colors today. Now, maybe you're at home watching and thinking that this paint looks amazing and you want to take it home yourself. We do have those options available if you'd like to purchase any of our Aussie paintings. In fact, you can grab this one if you want to go and have a video of the memory of your painting being made. Just contact us after the video for details and we're happy to get that out to you. You can see in color, that helps giraffes go and make sure that they're eating nice ripe leaves. By seeing in color, they're able to make sure they're eating the healthiest parts of the tree. And oftentimes, Ozzy does have some favorite colors. Oh. <laughs> Again, it looks pretty good. Maybe you want that on your wall. But if there's ones that maybe you want specific colors, just ask us. We're able to do customs as well. That's a really great way that you can help out during this time. Again, we don't have any ticket sales right now. So doing sales like this, it's a really easy way for you to help make sure that Ozzy gets some of the stuff that he needs. And that's why the keepers are still coming in, even though we are closed. Now, why do we have a painting giraffe? Those are some great questions too. This is what's called husbandry. And husbandry is just a fancy word that means the care of animals, cooperative animal health care. So Ozzy here is actually helping to go and participate in his own health care here. He's doing really fun things and he gets some really great vegetable treats at the end of it. But he's bringing his head down to his trainer. That's really an act of trust. Giraffes are most vulnerable when they bring their heads down to drink water. So a giraffe has to really feel comfortable for them to be able to take this position. You can see he has no problem going right up to Caitlin there and interacting with her. So while he's doing something fun, Caitlin over there is able to check his teeth, his eyes, and his ears to make sure that he's really being healthy and growing up to be the best giraffe possible. Because again, he's still growing and that's our job as zookeepers here. We want to go and make sure that we're always taking care of our animals the best way possible. He's not allowed to paint with his mouth full. <laughs> Now, giraffes actually have the same number of teeth that we do, 32. Now, they're really hard to see though. There's just a few right down in the front to use to scrape the leaves off of the branches. And then all the rest of them are located back underneath his eyes. So he'll go and chew up those 
leaves, or today it's vegetables. Every once in a while you might see a biscuit looking thing go in there. We call those his cookies. They are apple and oat biscuits made for horses. Just like our cookies are sometimes treat. Same thing with Avi. He gets those as a really fun way to say you're doing awesome. And he gets to go and have something a little bit special. You can see he's being very polite with how he's utilizing that paintbrush. He does the strokes and then he brings it back to paper. A lot of people want to know how long it took for Ozzy to go and learn how to paint. It took about four months overall and a really, I'd say, about a solid year to really get that perfected. And he's still tweaking it to this day. This is why, even though we are not open, these painting sessions are so very important for him. We want to make sure he's getting mental and physical stimulation during this time. Now, you might notice that where he's painting looks a little bit different than what you're used to. He actually has two sides of his yard here. When the weather's really nice, we're able to open up and let him go through both sides here. Usually it's a little bit harder when we are open to the public, so we save that for when we are closed. And so this is a really easy way for him to go and explore things in a safe way and give him variety. This would be called enrichment. Enrichment is a change in environment to provide stimulation. So things like these painting sessions, training sessions, um, changes in his environment are really good ways to keep him stimulated and keep him on his toes, so to speak. Even though we learned yesterday, he has hooks. Now you'll notice Melissa over there is getting some really great manicures right now, which is yeah. great because they're Especially, not open right, right now. Exactly, that's better than when I go to the salon. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy is really good at making sure he hits the canvas, but obviously he can have some really big strokes. And he's a big guy. All right. All right. I think we are just about done. So we'll take a look at those paintings there again. And I think we are just about ready for the big finale. So if you guys liked what you saw, go ahead. Let's give him a big cheer so we can hear him from all over the country. Yay! Yay! So once again, we want to say thank you so much for joining us. We always love answering those questions. And if there's any questions that we weren't able to get to today, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Uh, you'll notice that there is a donation link at the top of our page as well. If you liked what you saw, donating just a few dollars on maybe that cup of coffee that you're not going out to get anymore is a really easy way to help us. We do understand though that times are really tough right now, so just bringing our joy to you is a really help, helpful way of us to go and communicate and stay supportive with our supporters. We love you and we really want to say thank you for that. We hope you guys are happy and healthy. Stay home with your families. We love this time. It's a little bit tough for us, but as you can see, we get to go and still spend this amazing time with our animal family. Again, we want to say thank you if you have any questions and thanks and we'll see you next time.